Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a review of an American horror film, English language, released in the year 2012, directed by Richard Bates Jr. and this film is called Excision. And the story to Excision is as follows. Pauline is a frumpy social leper at home and at high school. To survive the taunts of her peers, she escapes into a bizarre psychosexual fantasy world where her medical aspirations warp into a bloody mayhem involving tongues, abortions and bloody backyard surgery. So the movie centres on Pauline. She is a young girl going through high school. She doesn't fit in at high school. She's very, very strange. She has aspirations to be a surgeon when she's older, but she's really not doing so well at school. So those aspirations as a surgeon are more a delusion than a, a real goal. So at home, she is not really fitting in either. She's got a very controlling and domina uh, domineering kind of mother. She's very religious. She's preaching the word of God all the time. And it's clear that Pauline is going through a very bad time in her life, but the mother is not going to accept that. And she just thinks that's a typical teenage behavior and that she's faking it. So uh, Pauline's uh, family is quite dysfunctional. Her younger sister needs medical attention very quickly. I'm not going to tell you what's wrong with her, but basically she doesn't get any medical attention. She's going to die. So Pauline wants to help out her sister, and the aspirations of being a surgeon come into play, and it leads up to a very shocking climax. So I'm not going to tell you what happens. That is something you're going to have to find out for yourself, so hopefully I've done a good enough job with that synopsis. Now my thoughts on the film. This one had been regarded as the film that has put America on the right on the right track as far as catching up to foreign cinema is concerned. It's supposed to be a very ballsy piece and a movie that doesn't make any apologies and it sets itself as an extreme film. So I had a lot of expectation coming into it. A lot of people have been praising this film to no end. So after watching it, I thought I was a little bit disappointed, but having said that, it is a good movie still. Now, my biggest problem with the film, I think it gets caught up a little bit in its own self-indulgence. Now, yes, it is a movie about mental illness, but I think the majority of the film, it centers on the delusions, it centers on the dream that Pauline has. Now, when Pauline goes to sleep, this is where she escapes from her reality and goes down the delusion of surgery. So she has these very bloody, uh, bizarre dreams where she's dreaming about abortions and all kinds of other very disgusting, bloody, uh, you know, events that no normal person would be dreaming about. So when she goes into that, it kind of goes into an artistic sort of film. And this is where I feel that the director, the pretentious value in the film comes out. And I thought it gets caught up in itself with the self-indulgence that it kind of halts the progression of the story, the continuity. But yeah, as I said, having said that, a lot of people have said that this is just a movie about sick images and nothing else. It's a very empty film. No, I have to disagree with that strongly. I think that it is a reasonable portrayal of mental illness and what can happen to a mental illness when it's ignored. Now, throughout the entire film, the mother is not accepting the fact that maybe her daughter is in very much you know, uh, pain and really does need psychological attention, but she uses excuses not to do it. And that's a common occurrence in the real world. And I feel that that is the reason why a lot of people commit suicide. Now, that's not a giveaway. She doesn't commit suicide in the film, but it does have its consequences. And I felt that it is a very real wake-up call to people as far as mental illness, mental illness is concerned. But once again, another problem with that sort of subplot in mental illness, it wasn't really developed in full length. I actually thought it could have delved a little bit more into it. So for that, I thought the movie could have been a little bit longer. But as I said, I felt that the film kind of gets caught up in the fact that it wanted to be an extreme film. It wanted to be provocative with the wrong material. And that material was in the, blood, uh, the bloody sort of imagery. So as far as gore is concerned, there's no real killings. You just see very, very bizarre imagery. and that is what makes the film set itself apart from, you know, the normality as far as American horror is concerned. So, um, yeah, I mean, the characters were not cardboard cut out, but as I said, they weren't quite interesting enough. So when the bad things happened, I just didn't get that emotional response because I wasn't connected to them as much as I wanted to be. As far as the acting is concerned, Tracy Lords, who used to be a porn star, she played the mother. She did an absolutely fantastic job. I've never seen Tracy Lords. I, I'm not a fan of porn, and I don't have never seen her on screen before, but she really demands attention in this one, and it shows that she has a career as far as uh, you know mainstream, you know proper movie acting is concerned because she plays someone with... You know that she loves her daughter, but you know that she is so caught up in her religious beliefs that she's kind of minding her daughter rather than fully loving her. And it's not until the end where you get to see how much, you know, her emotions pour out. So she's a very cold, sort of stonewalled sort of mother. And I actually felt that Tracy Lords played the part uh, perfectly. Then you've got Anna Lynn McCord, who played Pauline. She did a fantastic job, although she was a little bit stereotypical 
of a mentally ill girl. Now, this uh, she's being portrayed. Now, she's a very beautiful girl, uh, young uh, young lady, and she's beautiful enough in the film. I mean, she wasn't quite as ugly as, as I was actually expecting her to be. She's got very messed up hair. She's got you know scabs all over her face, and I feel that's a common thing when labeling mental illness. I just don't like it when it has the same sort of stereotypical betrayal. Uh, just because you're mentally, mentally ill, it doesn't mean that you just don't look after yourself at all. But having said that, uh, for the type of girl that she was, I felt that Annalie McCord did a fantastic job at betraying a very troubled teenager. It certainly wasn't an, an easy role, and I feel that she is an actress to really look out for, as same with Tracy Lords. Then you've got cameo from John Waters, who plays a priest. I felt that uh, you know the cameos didn't really require anything um, great, and then you've got cameos from other very well-known American actors. I'm not going to go through them, but it is cool to see that these sort of actors are um, uh, supporting this kind of film because it is it is in fact Richard Bates Jr. first film. So for a first movie, I thought he did a phenomenal job. Now it is funny. There's a lot of dark humor in it, so I found myself laughing quite a bit. Uh, but you have to have that sort of sense of humor. And then the ending, it really ties things up. I thought it was a very good ending. So overall, it is a movie that I would recommend definitely, especially if you're a fan of extreme cinema and you're sick of the PG-13 stuff that America are churning out these days or remakes every um, you know second day. So if you want something a little bit different, if you want something that is going to test the boundaries, Excision is definitely one for you. I just felt that it's Apart from the bizarre imagery, the subplot on mental illness could have been, you know, looked into a little bit more. And the fact that it gets caught up in its self-indulgence kind of prevents it from being a masterpiece, in my opinion. But having said all that, because of the subject matters that the director tackled, I think it was a very brave uh, thing that he has done. And for the most part, I felt that he pulled it off. So considering all the negatives, I am going to give this three and a half stars. Definitely a movie I would say go out there and get, especially if you're a fan of, of cinema that is very easy to offend someone. So that's my review of the American film Excision. Definitely comes recommended. Go out there and see it. All right, guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later.